Hey, who's that Yoshino's chatting with over there? I'm terribly sorry. I'm delighted by your offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. I've resolved to dedicate my services exclusively to my mistress, you see. You mean, you're a real housemaid? Oh, I, I had no idea. I'm very sorry to have bothered you. Do feel free to come back anytime, though, should you ever change your mind. Yoshino, was that a scout for a maid cafe? Oh, you overheard? Yeah, that sounded like a pretty well-practiced refusal, too. Do you get accosted like that a lot? I suppose I do. Particularly by maid cafes, for rather obvious reasons. Wait, you mean you get headhunted for other jobs, too? Quite a few. It was an art studio a few days ago, and before that, one eager recruiter felt I'd make a great explorer. Seriously? What do you do on a daily basis that has all these people scouting you? I merely attend to the mistress's needs, along with any housework that needs to be done. So, why are recruiters approaching you about things not related to maid work? Oh my, you are a curious one. Perhaps you might like to accompany me for a while and see for yourself? Hmm, you know what? Let's do it. A day in the life of a real deal maid sounds like a pretty fascinating time to me. As you wish. Currently, I am headed to Animart on Main Street to purchase a manga at the mistress's behest. Come! How about we upgrade our PCs? You need to be strong to protect me. We've arrived. The manga the young miss wishes to read should be in stock within. Now, that couldn't possibly be Yoshino Sayonji standing right there, could it? Oh, it's been quite some time, hasn't it? You know, I was just thinking about you. Been trying to track down the elusive Miss Sayonji here for quite some time. You know this guy, Yoshino? I do indeed. This gentleman is the president of Jimbocho Publishing. President? Have you given any consideration to the matter of employment with my company, Miss Sayonji? We'd love to have you. I'm afraid that, as before, I must decline your kindly offer. I'd hoped you might have reconsidered. Perhaps you'd give me a few moments to sell you on why Jim Pub is right for you? Again, I must refuse. The tales I've crafted are merely trifles for the enjoyment of my mistress. Nothing more. I understand. I suppose it was always going to be a hard sell, wasn't it? At the very least, though, I hope you'll accept this gift for your consideration. The latest issue of our monthly rag. Oh! This is the manga the young miss sent me to procure! I will gladly accept this on her behalf. You have my gratitude. Splendid. I'll be off then. Ta! How the heck do you know somebody like that, Yoshino? When the mistress was but a girl, I would often create my own picture books to read to her. On occasion, she would drop one on the ground without my notice, and that man would invariably be the one to find it. I see, so that got you noticed, but I mean, he really seems to think they're worthy of publication. Oh my, no. They're silly stories accompanied by amateurish art. I am but a simple maid in the end. Putting that aside, our next errand is to pick up what's needed for the evening meal. Come to the supermarket at UBX! They call me Pink, Pink Shark, cause I'm a card shark, baby!
know my star fruit and garnish? If it isn't Yoshino Sayonji in the raw. Why, hello there. It's been a long time. Wait, don't I know this guy from TV? Holy crap. It's the freaking Sobagetti guy. Goro Mandinsky, right? He's like a famous master top chef. I've got just a little dash of something I'd like to ask you, Miss Sayonji, if you can spare the rosemary and thyme. And what might that be? I've been thinking of cooking up a fresh new restaurant. And of course, Lee Ground, I'd need a head chef for that. So what do you say, Miss Sayonji? Will you loan me the sugar and help me get this one off the cutting board? What? You're a master top chef now, too? I'm terribly sorry, but all of my cooking is solely for the sustenance of my mistress. As such, I'm afraid I must politely decline your offer. There must be a way! Whatever you're making now will be boiled peanuts! I'll dish out a salary ten times that portion! I am grateful for your generosity, but I'm afraid I simply cannot accept. Guess your mind's made it up then. But please, do accept these as an apology for my half-baked tenderizations. Oh my! Is it truly alright to have these? They're such high-end ingredients. Without question! If by your hand stewed, these ingredients are sure to satisfy even the most discerning palate. Now then, I must away! If ever you crave a taste of the art of restaurateurship, you're ever welcome with me! Everything we need for the evening meal all at once. Even the mistress can scarcely object to food made with these. So, uh, how do you know that guy? Oh, it was a few years back. The mistress and I attended a cooking class for parent and child. Only the ones, though. Mr. Mandinsky just happened to be the teacher of that class. We came to keep in somewhat regular contact, as he would often consult me for cooking advice. The Soba Getty guy consulted you? Oh, it isn't anything worth making a fuss about. I am but a simple maid in the end. Now, let us make our last stop. A military shop on the side streets called Soldier's Zone. Turns up at last. Has been a while, hasn't it? Uh-oh. Here we go again. We gonna be able to get you to come back somehow? Ain't no way we can manage on our own for much longer. I've already made my pledge. I won't be dirtying my hands with anything beyond the protection of the young miss. You seriously still over there? Join back up with the PMC. And you're sure to do bigger and better things than ever. Wait. PMC as in private military company? <laughs> there ain't a single day goes by that I don't think back on the legend of the Black Panther of the battlefield. Please, come back to us, Sionji. We need you bad. My answer is the same as before. I must refuse your offer. But... but... Are you questioning my judgment, maggot? Oh, them eyes are looking as crazy as they did back in the day. Oh, fine. Suppose I'll back off for today, but just you remember, your only true home is on the battlefield. Hang on to this uniform for the day comes you realize that. I just know I'll see you on the field again someday. Master Asahi, I believe the mistress will be most pleased with this military garb. What? Why would she be? What the hell are you hiding in your past, Yoshino? I suppose that would be enough to spark anyone's curiosity. See, before I took this job, I was... A mercenary? Like for realsies? A badass, take-no-prisoners mercenary? Oh my.